In this particular example, we're going to focus on the design tree and some of the elements and features that we get just from our history of making features and sketches, as well as designing a piece um, in a certain order. Let's start a 2D sketch, and we'll start this on the front plane or the XY plane here. We're going to rough out our profile, and we'll make sure that we automate those horizontal vertical constraints. Doesn't matter if I'm close to the top of that, but those will come together. So that might make things a little easier to get those perpendiculars. Now I can dimension out my entire part. We're going to coincident the midpoint of this bottom line onto the origin. That should fully constrain our part. And we'll finish the sketch. Let's click extrude. And we're going to extrude this 2.5 inches. But I want to symmetrically extrude that so that the origin work plane is in the center of my part. So you can click symmetric. Make sure that the whole length is 2.5. And then we'll click OK. That should give us our first part of this example. We're going to flip our part over, and we're going to draw a semicircle on this side. So start a 2D sketch, and use your circle tool to find the midpoint and an endpoint. That should fully constrain that circle. We'll extrude this to the top of the part here. We can say two and then select this face and make sure that it's a join operation. Click OK, and that should address any inconsistencies with the part. This semicircle should adjust with the width of this part here. If we look at our first feature, we can right click and say Show Dimensions. From here, we can actually change our dimensions flat out. So Let's double click the 3.25 and change that to 3 and hit the check. That should have adjusted our part. If it doesn't, go up to the top and make sure to click Local Update. And now your whole part should uh, adjust. Right click your extrusion one again, Show Dimensions, and you can double click. And let's make that total extrusion 2. We'll hit local update, and then our part adjusts automatically. We're going to use our whole command to make a hole in the center of this semicircle. So click whole command. Where it says select positions, we're going to click the top face where it's going to be located. And then I'm going to make sure to select this edge. That way, it's perfectly centered on that arc. We'll make sure we cut all the way through that it's a simple hole with no seat. And our diameter is going to be 3 quarters of an inch. We'll hit OK. Our last sketch is going to cut through this face. So let's click that face. We'll draw a two-point rectangle by hovering over this edge and bringing our part across. Make sure not to select a midpoint or endpoint. I'm going to dimension the width as one inch and the height as 0.75. My distance from this point, now I want to go to the midpoint of this box. If I can't select one or the other, then I can use my point tool to hover over and grab the center point of this box. So see how that one's selected on the full part? If I move over, this should be the midpoint for that box. So now I can select them both. I have a point to grab. And I can coincident that point to that point. And now that's always centered on my part. I'll finish my sketch and I will extrude that 
two. The other side, so it doesn't go through the whole part. And I'll hit OK. If I need to, I can right click extrusion, edit feature, and then click all and make sure that it goes through all my pieces. This is a good time to start naming our features. We can just slow double click and we'll say. And now I have a name for each of my features that I can control. If I'd like, I can open up the base sketch, right click, edit my sketch. And this is where I could add something within the sketch. So let's put a fillet that has a quarter inch radius on this front corner. So I'll click both of those parts. And now I've built that into my sketch. I'll finish my sketch and it should have updated. If not, you can always hit local update. So now I've just adjusted my base sketch and my model has changed. I can go up to the top of my part, right click and hit eye properties. From here, we can slide over to the physical menu and we can create some sort of material for this. So let's put in aluminum 6061. From here, we can see a lot of information. And we could select the mass of the object, the volume of the object. If we select global, we can get the uh, mass moments of inertia. We can then live change this to, uh, say, cast iron. And adjust anything that we need. Let's hit apply and then close. And look, our model appearance has also changed. Notice at the top it says iron cast and our appearance is right there. So we can actually change our material right up from this menu here. Let's say we want to make it nylon, and it should automatically change. So there's a fast way to adjust, and then we can also do that within our eye properties.